Hi uh, everyone, this is Scott Man. We're live here in Ludington, Michigan. Quite a beautiful sunny day here. It's right around 70 degrees with the breeze coming from Lake Michigan. Well, we're not gonna see much if we're just standing here at this intersection over here, here on Highway 10. Not far from where I started, we have a nice looking post office. Actually, I was driving in here from, from Highway 31 as I was coming down from Manistee. A lot of nice buildings in here from the post office to the Ludington Public Library right in front of us. And then over on the other side of the street, which I'll cover next, is the Mason County Courthouse. As Ludington is the county seat of Mason County, Michigan. But yeah, definitely looks pretty nice. As the as Ludington's been around since like the 1840s, 1850s. Although they didn't become a city till a couple decades later, and actually in 1675, way before Lennington was even founded, Father Jacques Marquette actually was actually died and was first buried here back then. However, they eventually moved his body to St. Ignace as actually actually covered the uh, the memorial up near St. Agnes about a couple of years ago. But yeah, if you, if you don't know who Father Jacques Marquette was, he was a very famous Jesuit missionary who went all around the state of Michigan, all around Lake Michigan, all actually down much of the Mississippi River and then he eventually came back up here and he died here in what is now Ludington. Alright, let's cross the road. Right in front of us is the Mason County Courthouse. It's was built back in 1893 and it's, as you can tell, it's still standing today and yeah, that looks quite nice. We could probably walk a little bit close up to it a little bit, although May not be able to fit everything. But yeah, it's like, yeah, over the past year, I've definitely seen a lot of very nice courthouses in, when I've done these videos. Actually, I could probably walk over on the side, too. As a matter of fact, the, the, the city actually was named after Lumberman. Sorry for the brief cut out there, my battery's starting to go, I need to replace them in a minute. Anyway, the city actually is named after lumberman James Ludington. Ah, yep, yeah, here's actually a lot better view. Definitely quite a nice building. Alright, let's head back in the downtown. Uh, although I missed the first part of the sound of the bells, at least I got a little bit of it. Yeah, pretty cool. And here we are, right in downtown. Actually, quite a bit of people here today, especially with it being Memorial Weekend. Actually, we're at the corner where Highway 10 comes from the east over from, like, Clare and Bay City. Head that way, which we'll be covering next once I get back in the car. There's actually a, a huge ferry that takes you across over to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Then and over that way, head over to our Lake Michigan and also the State Park. We're actually, actually, I'm going to be covering the State Park in a separate video, too. I'll try to cross here. Oh, got the lake. And incoming traffic. Well, luckily it's red. <laughs> and we're right on the other side, and yeah, a lot of restaurants in here. All right, we'll show. We'll next we'll show where the ferry is. I just gotta get back in the car and head that way. All right, here we are. This is actually one of the the big ferries that takes you across to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And we pretty much yeah. 
just have to wait right here and, and can bar right over there. And it's, I think it's, for what I read about it, it's about an eight to 10 hour boat ride over to the other side, which basically Howie 10 picks up over in Wisconsin. And it takes you basically across the state of Wisconsin and then over to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and eventually over to Fargo, North Dakota, where eventually terminates into like around I-94 up in up in Fargo, North Dakota. Anyway, let's head over to the to the beach area near Lake Michigan. Just a quick drive west on Ludington Avenue. We're right next to M116 and we're here at Stearns Park. It's definitely, it's definitely quite nice. However, it looks very, very quiet over there. It's probably because everybody's over here at Lake Michigan over on the other side of the parking lot. But yeah, with how close we are to the lake, yeah, the breeze is picked up and it definitely feels a lot cooler. Actually, I even saw my car thermometer <laughs> go way down. It's like in the, it feels like it's in the low 60s here right now. Anyway, we got another lighthouse to check out. So, what, what are we waiting for? Just got on the pier, and you could definitely feel a stronger breeze here. Actually, I see more ripples on the lake as well over here. Yep, yeah, the city of Light actually has a, a, a quite a huge beach. And as you can tell with how cold the lake is still right now, nobody is in the water right now. Although that'll definitely change in a month as the lake slowly starts to warm up and obviously it gets warmer overall. But around the other side over here is actually where the Perry Marquette River empties out. And the Ludington Light actually lights the way for mariners to come into Ludington during the nighttime hours. It's actually still lit today. Right, let's continue. And we're continuing our walk over to the lighthouse. I actually see it getting closer and closer. Well, obviously it's because I'm walking. But we have a better view of the mouth of the Paramarquette River. Actually another ship out there. But yeah, the breeze definitely feels wonderful. I, it's any cool, I should almost be having a jacket on almost. <laughs> but anyway, actually, with the summer approaching, I'm actually thinking of doing some other bigger videos and stuff. Well, obviously I'll be going to Cam Bravo in July, so that's... So that would be doing some video coverage there and also get to see a, actually quite a few of my friends there that I saw at PAX East last month. <clears throat> also, uh, for any fans of my Let's Visit Colorado videos, uh, unfortunately I'm actually not going to be doing any Colorado videos this year. Actually changing things up a little bit. I still announced it on my Twitter, on my Twitter and stuff. But yeah, actually, there will not be any Colorado videos this year. But there will definitely be more in the future for sure, though. So no worries there. But in its place, though, I'm actually. Oh, there's a boat coming out. I actually think, well, sometime around the Fourth of July, I actually might try something different this time. I actually probably drive down to Virginia and Maryland and maybe even the northeastern tip of North Carolina and stuff. Do some videos along the way, like I'll drive all the way down and then do a lot of videos over there. So I definitely try to get a lot of videos. More so along the coastline and closer to like the DC, metro, DC Baltimore metro area. So yeah, definitely do some videos. I think a couple in probably in like West Virginia and probably do a few like in Virginia and Maryland. Like especially like along the Chesapeake Bay and stuff and then up toward the DC and Baltimore metro area. So I'll definitely, so yeah, around the 4th of July weekend I'll probably be doing videos of that area. So definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, speaking of now, let's head over to the lighthouse.
I actually have a pretty nice view of the Ludington Harbor over there with the Pear Marquette River coming over here and then we and we finally made it to the Ludington Lighthouse it's been around since 1871 and still open today actually open for tours as well If I made to the end here, right in front of us is Lake Michigan. Paramarket River basically empties out exactly at this spot. Ah, here's the other side of the lighthouse. Yeah, the, breeze, the, the breeze feels quite nice. And actually further south along Lake Michigan is Pentwater and then also Silver Lake State Park which actually has uh, quite a bit of sand dunes. That might that might be it all the way over there too. And of course keep going down to Muskegon, Grand Haven, and Holland. And basically all the way down to Chicago pretty much. <laughs> yeah, this concludes today's video here in Langton, Michigan. Actually going up to Langton State Park next. We'll be seeing more of Lake Michigan. <laughs> and this is the Scott Man sending out. Poland spring water now being served in Ludington, Michigan.